Hello everyone! In this video, we are going to learn how to locate the epicenter of an earthquake using triangulation method. During the movement of plates, seismic energy is released resulting to an earthquake. The seismic data are then collected by stations which are used to determine the origin of the earthquake. This method requires data from at least three seismic stations. Let's take Philippines as an example. Zooming in this part of the map, we can find Fibox Lokban Seismic Station, Fibox Puerto Galera Seismic Station, and Fibox Guineangan Seismic Station. The data from these stations will tell us their distance from the epicenter. This is done through identifying the difference in the arrival time of P wave and S wave as recorded in their seismograph. Remember that the arrival time of P wave and S wave will tell us how far the station is from the source. Since P wave travel faster than S wave, high value between these two tells that the station is far from the source. On the contrary, smaller value means it is closer from the epicenter. Take a look at the hypothetical data in the table. Let us assume that the following data were already derived from the actual difference in the arrival time of P wave and S wave. Let's begin with Fibox Puerto Galera Seismic Station. According to the data, Fibox Puerto Galera Seismic Station is 98 kilometers away from the epicenter. However, since the seismic wave travels in all directions, we cannot assume that the epicenter goes only this way, this way, this way, or this way. So, what we're going to do is to draw a circle with a radius of 98 kilometers. This will now give us a hint that the epicenter can be found somewhere in that circle. Moving on to Fibox Lokban Seismic Station, which is 81 kilometers from the epicenter, again, since we are not certain of its direction, we are going to draw a circle with 81 km radius. Notice that the two circles intersect at two points. This will now give us the idea that the epicenter may be found at this point or this point. This is where the third seismic station is needed. Now, let's take a look at the Fibox Guineangan Seismic Station which is 209 kilometers away from the epicenter. Following the same procedure, we are going to draw a circle with the 209 kilometer radius. If done correctly, you will notice that the three circles intersect at one point. This is the location of the epicenter. Thus, the epicenter is found at Tagaytay City. <music> 